Today we will discuss about the effect of temperature in different states of matter. For that, we will start with one experiment. So take a beaker, add some ice cubes and suspend a thermometer on that and starts heating with the help of a burner and note down the temperature in each and every step. First note down the temperature when it starts heating. Then record the observation when this ice cubes change into water. Continuously heat it. Again note down the temperature when liquid change into gas. Minimum temperature at which the solid change into liquid is called its melting point in the atmospheric pressure which is called the melting point. Once it starts heating, the kinetic energy increases and the particle starts vibrating with great speed. Now when we record the observation, we will find that that is the thermometer is not showing the reading while starting point where this temperature goes. This temperature is utilized only to convert the solid into liquid and that temperature is hidden which is not shown in the thermometer. Now that heat which is called latent heat, the amount of heat which is required to change 1 kilogram of solid into liquid state which is called the latent heat of fusion. Now when you heat a substance, at this first, most of the substance, first is that convert solid into liquid and then liquid into gas. There are certain substances which can directly convert into gas and vice versa. We will discuss about an experiment that solid is directly changing into gas and vice versa. We can see a funnel which is kept in the inverted position and a cotton plug is kept in the neck of that hole of the uh, funnel and ammonium chloride which is taken in a china dish which is kept under this and it is heated with the help of a burner and after some time you can see that is the solid change into gas and vapor starts moving up and then it gets deposited in the sides of the this funnel that is first the solid is changing into gas and it is moving up and afterwards the same gas gets converted into solid and deposits in the sides of the funnel and let us see what phenomenon is taking place over here as we have discussed earlier and is when a substance is heated first it change into solid then it change into first change solid into liquid liquid into gas now here in this case what happens when the solid when it is heated it is directly changing into gas without changing into liquid and that phenomenon that property which is called the sublimation and when this gas directly changing into solid which is called the deposition. Now we will discuss about the effect of pressure. Now carbon dioxide gas that is gas which is compressed when it is high pressure it can be liquefied and solidified. The solid carbon dioxide which is called dry ice.